Right, today I'm uh, putting the electric transfer wires onto the hinges. So you can see it's a very thin wire and I've already soldered this one on and this one goes through this hole it goes through that hole there plenty of wire, far too much actually and then that I've reamed this hole out to match the solder so the hinge will go flush and that gets screwed into there so I'm just going to drill a little hole through here right, so what I've got there is a hole here so when this hinge is in there can you see the hole? I don't know if you can see the hole just under there that's where I'll be uh, attaching the wire and to keep everything simple I'll put another black one on so I'm using this wire here it's very very thin it's, uh, electric circuit upgrade wire I mean I just want enough to run it around in there and then I'm going to push it through here fold it in half again and twist then I'm going to solder that with as little solder as possible Well, that hinge will still be very hot but it's well connected now what I need to do is just trim the ends off each of these and it's very easy on this wire you've just got to nip it tight and pull um, now we have to test this for continuity I happen to have a voltmeter Uh, on my voltmeter I can set it to tone if you listen that's what I expect to hear when I touch the ends of these wires there you go and that's travelling through the hinge that's a good connection it should have cooled down by now yep hinge still functions now what I need to do is make sure that this part will go through there. There we are. Beautiful. And that will be um, epoxied in place when the time comes. And I'll also put some hot glue just to keep the solder joint firm. So that's one hinge, now I've got to repeat that process for the other hinge and that's all we'll be doing in this video because it's quite a time consuming process. That's I'm using red wire this time. Uh, so that's the hole for the body. That's um, this side. I don't know if you can see that but there's a hole there now. So I've got to solder onto this. So the first thing I've got to do is clean it up a bit. Then using this one, we know this is this side hinge. That's where it's going to sit. The hole is here. But the hole is slightly to the right and left. So I'm sort of gauging where I've got the solder. 
about there. That pencil mark. A bit higher. It'll come up a bit. There's a hinge. Uh, so let's put some solder on that first. Gives it some strength. Now, I'm going to try and put some solder on here. Not the neatest job in the world. I think it will hold. Yeah, that might have to come back down a bit like that. And up from there. Hinge is still a bit hot. Drop that out. That's going to sit in there very nicely. The next thing I've got to do is attach the red wire onto this side. So I've prepared my length of wire. And I'm going to put it through the hinge. You can't see much because of my clumsy hand. Fold it over and then start twisting. So, this is the side I'm having the red on which is positive. See, this is where it's weak here. Now before we go any further, I'm going to do a continuity test on these wires before I finally fix them in place. Let's see what happens. It's good. Check the black. It's good. So what I want to do now is get a bit of hot glue and just tack that wire down there take the pressure off it off the solder joint and the same with that one there just tack it there a little bit okay so this is just going to get a dab there that's all it needs I'm going to do the same here There. And all that does is take any strain off those solder joints. Now, as long as this ridge here is clear, we should be okay. So, if I just fold that in there, 
What I want to do now is just make sure that this will... <laughs> of course it's always... Sit down nicely over there, which it does. A bit low there, it's not as low here. Don't know why that is, I'll have to check that out. Might be that screw actually, it is that kind of mark here where that screw, I'm going to have to dremel that screw off. And then these will thread into the body through the two hinge slots. And they will slot in there. And they will be epoxied in. when the time comes, which is not yet, and they will provide power from the battery in the main body through the hinge into the door.